All right, I am playing Kerbal Space Program. I'm gonna try narrating it while I'm playing, and uh, see how far I can get. Yes, and Leia's watching movies in the background. Let's see, maybe I'll move this mic closer. There we go, closer to my face. So now I can hear myself better. All right, race to Drace. Here we go. So, um, since a new version of Kerbal Space Program is coming out, I figured probably I should just finish what we were doing and then uh, not have to worry about this race anymore because the race is taking up a lot of time and it's taking a long time. Ooh. So I reduced my screen resolution for this, which I think resulted in this, uh, yeah, moving around some stuff. So there we go. Try that. So what I don't say is that the Race to Drace is a competition that I'm doing between myself and a friend of mine, Andy Wilkinson, who's uh, we're both running Kerbal Space Program with the same set of mods, and we were both started a new campaign on hard mode, and there were all these stipulations, and we're trying to get to Drace, get a, a Kerbal to Drace, and back again uh, safely the first. So whoever gets there and back first wins. Uh, and nothing's on the line, it's just, you know, having fun doing a race. But that is, that's the, the whole conceit of this. Uh, and he's been doing videos, they're private videos, and I've been watching him. And I figured I'd put up some videos of my own. Minimus Lander is on his way back home. That's good. Uh, okay. And the... Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of getting geared up for... Uh, the the mission itself and I'm just gonna kind of push through I don't think I need to, to do all this intermediate stuff I think I have enough money to make this happen and I've got enough tech to where I can build it so stats at mark four I'm putting another one up I guess I've got a mission um, position satellite specific order Kerbin okay okay yeah so I've got a mission here to put a probe up uh, incomplete it's incomplete. Goo container. I've got to put a goo container on there. Can't forget that. And this mm -hmm. one is mm -hmm. just normal old, has an antenna. So, goo container and antenna, satellite equatorial orbit of Minimus. That's the one that's flying right now. Explorer, explore, explore. I'm not going to do any of those. They just got them for the, the kick at the beginning. Planetary base on the moon. Okay. So, nacelle launch. That's the next one. It's the next big doohickey. Uh, oh. Uh, let's see here. I need... 5 meter fairings. That's what I need. Research. Oh. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough science. Um, what happened here? Okay, so I'm getting all the science I can. Okay, stat set maneuver, four hours. Five deviation, okay. So now we go back to the Space Center and launch that probe. And actually, I think I may have to modify it because I seem to remember that I don't have. Come on. Come on. Now you can do this. There. I seem to remember that I don't have the uh, correct loadout on it, but we'll find out. Warp 2, warp 2, warp 2. Come on. Come on. Warp, 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 warp. More warping. Bam. Stats out mark four complete. 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 Go. Go be complete. All right. So it needs an antenna and a goo canister. I think it doesn't have. It has an antenna doesn't have a goo canister. So let's put that on. Take 
this guy. That. Actually. Uh huh. It's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to put a bigger fairing on. If I can find the fairings. Bingo. Looks good. And that will give us enough delta V, maybe. Stage two kilometers a second. Yeah, should be fine. All right. So now we tell this to save edits. It's gonna take us another two days. Oh man. And then the fuel dump porter. Oh yeah, the fuel dump porter. That guy's got to go up. Uh, so I've got a. It's kind of a a tour of my mission plan. A while back when I had a little bit of extra money and time and was waiting for science stuff to happen, I put a fuel dump up in orbit, just a whole bunch of fuel. And I don't think I need it actually, um, but I was planning on using it just as kind of a, a seed for a station if I needed any fuel or whatever. So there's just like a ton of fuel up here. Uh, but it doesn't have docking ports on it because this was before I had docking ports and it doesn't have anything. So I was going to send up a porter with, oh, thank you, with a bunch of KAS lines, uh, fuel line things, and wait, space center fuel lines and uh, connectors. Those strut connectors, KAS connectors, struts and kind of attach a, a thing to that and kind of make a, a hub out of it. Uh, so we'll see how that works. But that's what's going up after the nacelle launch. And actually, I think I should probably wait for... I should probably finish the dump porter first and then the nacelle launch because if the nacelle launch goes up first, then I won't have anywhere to dock and that would be silly. So fuel dump porter goes up first. We'll get that going. So next is heavy aerodynamics. Oh. Oh, Heavy Aerodynamics is already researching. See, this shows you how long it's been since I... Right, I can't research it, but it doesn't matter because I'm already researching it. That's kind of annoying that they don't have a way to let you know that you've already purchased it with the build construction time thing. But Anyway, oh well. So now we just need to warp to full. Let's see, load, drace out. Bound launch. Is that what I'm looking for? Oh yeah, I've already designed it. Mm. All right, so I've tested this or simulated it, and that should work. Uh, but it's going to take 24 days. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Even at the lowest, is 60 days, and that's that's doable. Um, let's see, and the curb into Drace is 100 days, yeah, so we've got some time. We can make this happen. So that is going to go up eventually. So that's at four. If I get enough science, I might research some bigger fuel tanks so that that isn't so silly looking, but we'll see. Complete. All right, so now back to the maneuver. Because we didn't actually have a probe to send out because it didn't have a goo tank on it, just as I correctly remembered. RCS on this one as well. I wish there was a way to... Alright, is that close enough? Designated equatorial orbit. What the? No. What? Why? Did it just move the orbit? That's so annoying. Why did the orbit just move? All right. Well, we've got another 250, so that should be okay. Ah. Uh, oh man. How did it do that? Is this the the actual designated equatorial orbit? Reach the designated orbit. Well, I've neutralized the controls. That's good. Oh, no. Duna, Duna, nope. Eve, Ike. Is that 
Kerbin or on Kerbin. No, that's the, the mystery goo one. That's the one I'm going to launch. Yeah, this is the one. Longitude of ascending node undefined. Well, it's, oh, it's the argument of periapsis. Well, oh, whatever. For whatever reason, it decided that that orbit was not s the correct orbit. It was not up to spec. So we'll just have to build a new orbit. Uh, it's enough. So sensitive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Good, good. Okay. Um, 67, I'm at 70. Hopefully that's close enough. Well, we'll find out. Oh, oh, look at that! Neutralize controls for 10 seconds! Don't touch anything! Oh, attention! So much tension! Will the mission be completed or not? Will the orbit move to some completely new orbit? Maybe you have to turn off SAS. There we go. Neutralize controls for 10 seconds. One, two, three, three and a half, three and three quarters. Ah! Yay! Mission complete. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So that mission's done. Oh, man. What a stressful mission. Lump Porter, 38 minutes. Let's do that. And that's really cool how the lights turn on in the buildings. Oh, if only you could design your own buildings. That would be sweet. And design your own bases and launch different base things and construction and stuff. Ah. All right, field on Porter. Now I'm going to. I'm going to simulate this just because I don't remember how this thing is supposed to fly. Um, oh, it's very simple. It has no control surfaces. That bodes ill. Um, simulate it. 43 done. Yes. 15 minutes. Oh, the seats are crude. Well, why not? Oh, I don't have any crew. Oh, there's no crew available. Here you go. <laughs> Ken Ken Kerman, you are the least qualified. Uh, I mean, you're not stupid. That's good. Uh, this may go ill for you, Ken Ken. Oh, Ken Ken. All right. Simulate. 43 bucks. Ker bucks. Whatever they are. Ready, go. Ready, flying. Ready, go. Go flying. Go flying, go. All right. I really feel like I should have control services on here, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, fly, fly, my Kerbin bull, Kerbin bull. Yes, yes, flying into the air. And we're just not going to touch anything. Oh no, we really do need to. Oh, oh, I didn't have to. I didn't have to do anything. No, come back. Oh, no, stabilize. No, don't, don't do that. That's not the direction we want to go. Oh yeah, no, it definitely needs control surfaces. All right. Okay. You, yeah, abandoned mission. It's not gonna. It's not gonna end well. Ah, uh, for anyone involved. Is Kenkin still with us? Kenkin is. All right, good. So that was just a simulation. It was all a dream, Kenkin. It was all a dream. <laughs> it's, that's how he wakes up every day. His, he was hired for this mission. Every day he wakes up after going through the simulator. He's like, they still haven't fixed it. They still haven't fixed it. I'm going to die. I'm going to get the craft. I'm going to flip over it. Launch. I'm going to get the ground. <gasps> Abort. Okay. But thanks to Kenkin, we did a simulation. And... Better flight is just around the corner. Let me see if I have any parts, 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 parts. Where are the parts? Kerbal construction time, where are my parts? Show me. I don't have a way to see the parts that are available. Okay, whatever. Um, 
something like that. That should be much better. Much better. And then by the time we get up here, we'll be mostly out of the atmosphere anyway. All right, how long is that gonna take? Nine minutes. Awesome. Nine minutes to add those guys. They must have been built already. Uh, I can't imagine that that was all that he needed. Yep, nine minutes, there we go. Fuel dump porter, warp complete. Yeah, I must have some of those in stock for, uh, yes, thank you, for, for it to only take nine minutes to build those. Can you imagine, like, our vessel needs some, some flaps. Go put them on. Nine minutes later, they're on. Oh, insane. The, the design change there. That would be, I mean, that would be awesome. Fill all with Ken Ken Kerman. All right, Ken Ken. Now, this is not a simulation. This is for reals. This is for all, for all the marbles. I mean, not really. This is actually a very inexpensive ship. But for Ken Ken, it's all the marbles. All of Ken Ken's marbles. He has 0.1 courage. And, uh, but also no stupidity. So, we'll see how that works out for him. And actually, this needs to meet up with the fuel dump. So let's just hang out on the launch pad until the fuel dump comes around, just like that. All right, and it is set as a fuel dump. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here you go, Ken Ken. This is your hour. He's he's like, man, I am not happy about how this is going at all. This is just like in the simulations when I didn't have any flaps. Oh no, are there even fins on this thing? And he's looking out this tiny little window. And he's like, I really hope there are there are control surfaces on this. Or else I'm gonna flip over and die. But lucky for Ken Ken, we did add some and we're not flipping over and dying just yet. So fuel's looking good. Our thrust to weight ratio, 1.8. Why is that way down there again? Did I move that down there? Let's move that. Configuration. Lock. Advanced. Oh, I forgot to lock it. I probably moved it while I was fiddling with stuff. There we go. Uh, turn off the configuration. Turn that off. Hey, he's, he's looking like he's just ready to, to die. Let's turn off the SAS for a second. Oh my. Well, uh, this could be very interesting. Apoapsis. Oh, oh no. Okay, yeah, no, that's not good at all. So that didn't get us far enough out of the atmosphere, and now Kenkin's worst nightmares are coming true. He's he's not gonna make it to space today. You will not go to space today, Kenkin. Come on, come on, come on, bring it up. We're going into it. Counter. We're going into it. Anti hedral orbit. Uh, you know, the, I mean, it's possible. It's still mildly possible that we can pull this off. Uh, but things are not looking good, really, at all at this point. I'm, I'm not sanguine. My hopes are not sanguine for Kenkin or his... Well, you know, he's going to survive. I, I think we're high enough up. We've got parachutes. He'll make it. Uh, it didn't flip over at low altitude like like we had feared earlier, but uh, this is this is not a helpful now. See, we've only got 1.3. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it to orbit. I don't really don't. If only you could make rendezvous with a fuel porter and then everything would be fine. Alright. Yep, there are your tiny, tiny engines. Your minuscule, insignificant engines with a thrust rate to ratio of 1.8. 0.57, not even one. Uh, we're at 1.6. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. So I'm gonna, we're gonna ditch this plan. Not going to make it. So why even try, right? So let's go back over land here. And see if we can parachute. What's our altitude? No, we're gonna wait. Stage destroyed. Oh well, yeah, I didn't have any parachutes on it. Stage recovered. Hey, good. Um, yeah, okay, good. We recovered the, the base stage. Oof. Oof, re-entry. Or entry or something. 
Uh, well, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, we'll be fine. We're not at anywhere near burning up re-entry speeds. That can't be fun for Kenkin. Kenkin, you're just having the worst day, aren't you? Redesign the ship, and even with the redesigned ship, it's still not, still not anything to be proud of. Here we go. The parachutes are deploying. Come on. I really hope that these fully deploy. Service altitude, 800, 700 meters, 600. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. All right. So now we can turn this on. I think our thrust to weight ratio is low enough. Yeah. That we can just uh, use those to soften our landing. Yeah, nine meters a second. Go nine meters a second. That's that's very survivable, especially with the engines. Full throttle. 6.4 meters a second. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we will be okay. But hey, we've got all our stuff. Ken can survive. Uh, he even gets a crew report that we can save for later. Because, I mean, no way that he's getting out of this thing. Although, Ken can, do you want to get a... No, he doesn't want to get... He doesn't want to get a surface sample. Not interested in, in anything at this point. He's going to go back to... The, good. Ken Ken's going to go back to the astronaut complex. He's going to go see the, the crew shrink and uh, work through his post-traumatic stress syndrome of having to fly that nightmarish launch. And uh, I'm going to go back to the VAB and try to put something together for that launch pad reconditioning. So so that was not a really well put together mission, if I have to say so, uh, which apparently I do test it on there. That'll be perfect. And then, you know, I'm thinking uh, with the whole aerodynamic problem, I'm going to put a shroud around this whole thing. There's there's really no reason not to at this point. Uh, no. It's got to be bigger. It's got to be... All right, there we go. That should be... What have we got? DV. Oh, and our staging is all messed up now. Separate stage for the fairing. Rocket engine turns on. Stage fairing comes off. Separate off, turn on the engines, and then parachute. Okay. So that should all work like a dream. And, you know, this is now thrust to weight ratio 0.8. Not, not enough. Uh, none of this is enough. So we're going to toss that. going to go with a good old... Ooh. How are we going to do this? No, it's fine. No, it's not fine. No, it's fine. We're going to go with the good old poodle. Oh yeah, plenty of Delta V, good. And that'll get us a long ways. And in fact, there we go, all right. So that's gonna be a, a good, yeah, 3.5, oh, awesome. Plenty to get into orbit. Now we can just put a, put one of these guys on. Yeah, here we go. This is gonna be an overpowered mission, but who cares? 1.8, yeah, that'll practically get us into orbit itself, and then that'll, yeah, okay. Uh, 2,700, sure, why not? Okay, so this just turned into crazy fiasco mission of doom. But that's okay. Yes. It's okay. Because we're done messing around, we're going to go to space. Going to space. Connected. Okay, so let's put some parachutes on here. No, stop. No, go away. Go away. There. Action groups. Okay, that stays on that stage. Those go off. That pops off. We don't want that actually. Disable that. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off because we don't want it. Because we want this to. Okay, now that's fine. Because this is gonna be a a thingy for itself. It's gonna be its own. Um, grandpa, or whatever. Oh, 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 what's that? Multi-purpose, multi-purpose fuel tank, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, that's what we should do. Okay, that's what we're doing. Totally happening. 
You come off. You go away. Multi-purpose. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so now it's got a bunch of RCS on it. So then it can maneuver and stuff. And then we'll put some of these guys on, because these are my favorite, because I can just put them on the sides and they don't interfere with anything. And that's great. Yeah, look at that. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Okay, good. So now we've got, yeah, this thing's got tons of monoprop, 80. It's got tons of fuel, it's got connect, all right, cool. This is turning into a real live science mission. And what's the bottom stage? Bottom stage mass. Uh, total mass, no, just mass. Oh, wow, 28 tons. So these guys have to support. So, fly settings. Warning, the mass of the craft is too high. All right, well, we'll just, how about uh, three then? Still too high. How about four? Four. All right, four. It needs four of them. So we'll go back here. Put four on. Make sure that that's all still set. Set to four. Blah blah. Apply settings. Good. Twenty-eight point eight. Oh no, actually, it's gonna be empty. It's gonna. It's gonna be empty. So it's actually only gonna be nine point six. So so we can go back here. That's silly. Two. We only need two. Action groups. Yeah. Nine. Nine point six. Oop, we've got some crackliness. What's going on here? Crackly sound. I don't know where the crackly sound's coming from. Nine point six. Oh yeah, good. Alright. Good, good. Separate. Fly. Good. Okay. Fuel dump porter is go for launch. That's going to take us six days. All right. Build vessel. Use parts from inventory. Good. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So launch pad is reconditioning to sell launch. When is when is my mission coming back from orbit? I've got this Minimus mission. I don't want to miss that and have it re-enter. Um, where is my Minimus mission? Please tell me that I didn't crash it into the surface. I'm miss lander. Here we go. Let's fly this guy. Get his periapsis data all squared off. Okay, how are you doing there? Look like you're fine. Just looking out the window, this has been your view for the past day or whatever, two days. And you are coming in hot with a periapsis of 54 kilometers. And that's not really what we're looking for. Got 1.26 meters per second delta V left, so we could probably burn this off. Uh, let's do that. Periapsis. 45. I don't really don't know what altitude I should be re-entering at, but I'm gonna go for like 28, and uh, I think that should be fine. Which it's got tons of food and water, and that's in five days. So let's put a node right here. Uh, no, let's put it right here. And this is just going to be a fake maneuver node to uh, tell us to burn the rest of our fuel. 1.2, yeah, something like that. So that should put us in a good spot, and oh, we'll be on the dark side. That's okay. Doesn't matter and add a maneuver alarm. So that's our mission there. Okay, so uh, fuel dump porter again needs to go up. 
And then nacelle launch is six days away. Ah, <sighs> six days out of 104. I think we might be able to afford that, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. See, maybe I should just launch the nacelle, just start launching nacelle unit. No, but I want somewhere to dock. Now we're gonna do the fuel dump thing. In field dump porter, we're gonna get it up there and, and dock and everything. Uh, the ammo flyer, you know, we don't really, we don't really need that. Uh, I don't know why it's there. Point stat set. Oh yeah, we want to do that mission at some point. Five days. Um, okay. Okay, last mission. Oh, oh, we got 560. Okay, we've got enough to, to do another thing here. How about some big engines and stuff? That might be a good idea. So we can launch that thing without it looking quite so ridiculous. 560. Yes. All right. Good. Uh, I was going to save, but, you know, this is a good place to stop. So there we go. We've got um, a mission going up. We launched a. What did we do? Didn't launch anything. We launched the guy and he flipped upside down. That's it for today. Fun, fun, fun.